Hello, welcome to Excellence Link Academy. For today, we'll be discussing on the second method of differentiation. In our last class, we discussed the general method of differentiation, which we understand two concepts there. The first task is that for general method, multiply by the word by the part. The second task is what? Subtract one from the part. That's the idea of general method. Um, we did in our previous class. I'll drop the link to the previous class on the description of this video. So if you have not watched the, um, the previous video we did on uh, general method, um, kindly check the description of this video. You will see it there. For today, we will be dealing with uh, on first specific method of differentiation. Right? So let's take an example and let's see how we can manipulate using the first specific method of differentiation. Um, let's say example. Example. If I have y is equal to x this way, and I'm told to differentiate this using my what? My first principle method. Before I apply first principle method, let me use our idea of what? General method to solve this. Our answer, we're going to compare it with this uh, method if they are comparable. Um, if I'm going to use general method, from my, from my previous idea, we said if I have y is equal to x, that becomes what? The y over the x is equal to multiplied by the power. The power here is what? 1. 1 times x. Then what? Subtract from the power. That becomes 1 was there initially. So minus 1. I'll power what? 1 times x squared. 1 minus 1 is what? 0. I have 0. It's equal to 1 times x squared. 0 is what? It's 1. So my final answer is what? One. Observe. When I use general method, I add one. Let's see if I use the first method if I have one. What is the concept behind first principle method? The idea is that to y had change in y, to x add change in x. That's all. So to y, I have y, add what? Change in y. Also to this x, add what? Add change in x. So at this point, I will take what y to the other side. That becomes what change in y is equal to x plus what change in x. When a positive y comes, it becomes what negative y. But but from the question, we said y is equal to x from the question. Hence, any y is y, I'll put what x. That becomes what change in y is equal to x plus change in x. Minus, we said y is what? x minus x. Hence, this cancel out what? This. That's what. I'm left with what? Change in y is equal to what? Change in x. At this point, divide through by change in x. Divide by change in x. That becomes change in y over change in x is equal to change in x over change in x. At this point, my change in y over change in x will be equal to change in x divided in x becomes what? 1. So observe, when I use the method, I add 1. Also, when I use my first principle method, I also add 1. That's the concept behind the first principle method of differentiation. Let's another example and let's see if I can solve that using the first principle method of differentiation. If I have y is equal to x squared, and I'm going to reduce this via what? First principle method. If I'm solving this using my general method, what will I have? I will have what? 2x, that's all. I will have 2x. How? We said from the idea of general method, we said y is equal to x squared. We said what? Why? I'm telling you what is the word of x. That becomes what? The y over the x is equal to Multiply by the power. The power here is what? 2 times what? Everything. X squared. Then what? Subtract 1 minus 1. At the end, I'll have what? 2 times X power 1, right? 2 minus 1 is 1, right? I'll be having what? 2X. Let's apply first method to this. And let's see if we have um, 2X. Alright, applying the first method, I said to y had change on y, 
to x hat change x star half y plus change in y is equal to x plus what change in x. Listen, listen. To x add what change in x. So and it is what is it all squared this way? All squared, right? All squared. So if I proceed, I'll have y plus change in y is equal to x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared, right? This is the uh, idea of, uh, I apply the idea of Bernard theorem or Pascal's triangle to solve this. Um, for today's sake, let me show, let me show how, how I expanded this term. If I have x plus change in x all squared, it simply means x plus change in x multiply each other twice, right? That becomes what? S plus change in X into S plus change in X. How do I expand this? Simply take the first term here, multiply by all the terms in other brackets. That becomes what? X into everything here. S plus change in X. I'm done with that. Pick the second term. Plus change in X into everything. S plus change in X. X, that's all. So what do I do? Multiply x times x, I have x squared plus x times change in x, that becomes what? x change in x, please, not change in x squared. This is what? We are assuming that change in x is something entirely, something different entirely, and x also is different. So you can't say x times change in x is x, okay, sorry, change in x squared is wrong. So uh, I'll have x change in x. Plus change in x times x, that becomes what? S change in x. And the chorus, change in x times change in x, that becomes what? Change in x squared. And this point, I'll have x squared, I'll have x squared plus change in x plus change in x, that's what? 2. That becomes 2s two change in x plus what? Change in x squared. This is how I got to this uh, man here. Eh? Right, using um, my pasta strand or binomial theorem. Alright, if I proceed at this point, what do I do? I'll take y to the other side. That becomes change in y is equal to x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared. Take y to the other side, that becomes minus y. But beside y is equal to what? x squared. So, but we said what? y is equal to what? x squared. So, anyway, I see y, I'll put what? x squared. That becomes change in y is equal to x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared minus what? y is what? x squared minus x squared. So, x squared cancel out this, that, or I'm left with what? Change in y is equal to 2x change in x plus change in x squared. At this point, divide through by change in x. Divide by change in x. That becomes change in y over what? Change in x is equal to 2x change in x over change in x plus change in x squared over the change in x. So if I multiply this, I'll have this cancel out this, it's off. This cancel out this, I'm left with what? One of this change in x at this point. So if I'll have my change in y over change in x is equal to 2x, I'll have 2x plus what? Change in x plus change in x. If you observe, from our initial example we did here, uh, when I divided through by change in x, I just have one, just for one. But at this section, I can see that I'm having, sorry, change in x, not change in y, change in x. But at this section, I'm still having change in x. Now, here's the idea. Whenever you divide through by change in x, and you are still having change in x remaining, take limit of change in x to be zero, right? So change in y over change in x, x is equal to all this. Now, taking limit of uh, change in x to be what? Zero. So anyway, I see change in x, I put what? Put zero there. That becomes what? 
2x plus what? Change in x. But we said this what? To be 0 plus what? 2x uh, plus 0. So x might, be, might change on y over change in x is not equal to what? 2x. When I read the when I use my general to solve this, I add 2x. Also, when I use my first principal method, I have 2x. Uh, here is the idea for, principal, uh, for first principal method of differentiation. Thanks for watching.